extrovert always assume the people that's an introvert are not interested in to party and going out yeah that's and it's like thing. we do but no. just in small stages we like yeah. going out yeah what we don't like is do it all Consistent the time, time. Yes. like you can say oh do you want to go out and i'll say yes mm. if i cannot i'll just say sorry i cannot today but it doesn't mean that you have to stop asking yeah because some days i will want to go and i want you to invite me or i will go with you if it's like oh because when i will text you and i was like oh, well you also i'm out i was like you didn't even ask me yeah like, i thought you wouldn't be interesting but so you didn't even ask me point. you can't assume so how do you handle societal pressures or stereotypes that might influence your dating choices okay interesting okay, first of all again i don't date so <laughs> take it away marie how would i say this i'm open-minded Mm -hmm. But in a certain degree, mm -hmm. I have types. Most people assume that most girls don't have types, or they have types. Yes, we all have types. We may say, no, we do not have types. That's mm -hmm. a lie. Yeah. We all have types. Like I say in the beginning, I'm more into how would I say this? Our culture. Like I'm massive interested in Asian culture. So I'm not gonna lie. I love Asian people, even though I never hate me. So <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Okay. No, because Damn. that's I don't oh, I don't go that way. Yeah. I don't go in my way to ask because I always assume that they don't like they're not interesting. So I always like limit myself. I just put like a wall. Mm. So I would talk about them. I say, oh, I like this guy. He's so cute and stuff like that. But, but I would not cross it date, because I would not yeah. expect them to do it. And because when I look, listen, the internet is scary. But at the same time, that's where you find your information. <laughs> so when I look on the internet, and most of them then play around with other girls that they end up marrying to their own culture. Yeah. Like they will always go back to an Asian girl or with something to marry. They will not cross it. If a crossing is rare. Yeah. So it's kind of like I'm interesting, but I know you guys don't like me. I was gonna say that because like I remember reading something and yeah. they were like black women on dating sites are the least women to be met out of like all the ethnicities yeah so, i'll say racist ethnicity culture that's what I need to do. yeah so out of all the races that are on dating sites black women are the least likely to be matched with someone yeah. so it's like unfortunately black women are mainly at the bottom of the dating chain like, yeah out of all races it will be like for example not even being horrible if it would be like white women Latino, like, Latina's not even a race, but you know what I mean. Like white women, Latino women, um, Middle Eastern, a like South Asian, Southeast Asian. Well, yeah. not in that thingy, but it, we, we will always be at the bottom, unfortunately. Yeah. Which is a lot to do with colorism and racism, racism and colonialism. But we're not gonna get into all of that. Okay. But it's like I feel like social. Also, the way that black women are very hypersexualized by the media. Like they always make not not in a bad sense, but from like years and years and years ago, they've always made it seem like black women are hypersexual. True. Even that's from, because like, we a like young, vanilla body. Like, we, like what? we look nice. Yes, but we like showing the figure. What's like, wrong with showing the figure? Yeah, that's the thing. Like we like, but like, a lot of women, black women, have a certain figure. But obviously now it's different. But yeah. black women generally have certain figures and back in slavery that was sexualized and obviously the slave masters used to not gonna say the word because it's YouTube so it'll block it but R A P E okay. the black women and that's how hypersexualization of black women started. Remember that woman in South Africa that they put in the zoo oh. because of her body. Oh see? It's stuff like that. We were very hypersexualized yeah. and I feel like that's why today obviously and now black women are reclaiming it and using it to big up themselves which is amazing like Megan Thee yeah. Stallion and stuff and I love that but um, unfortunately because of all the years of um, hypersexualized black people a lot of races do not take black women seriously which yeah. is sad and especially it's when I'm yeah. interested in that unfortunately yeah, like, we're just oh you guys are so cute and you have so small fingers yeah, but their families oh. would not yeah, not all of them know. obviously but yeah I it's just it's because of what happened like big year gap and most of them are like okay the reason why i think that i'm more into them is because they're family oriented like they take care of the family like hard you should meet jamaica I'm not going. I'm there. joking. I was joking. <laughs> I'm not going Jamaican at all. So no, just no, no, to no, let like, you know, I'm Jamaican and yeah. I'm not going to Jamaican. Like that's one of the things I just literally cut it. I was like, nope, you're not even on the list. Like no, <laughs> no, no. I would see a fine-looking Jamaican guy. I was like, damn, if he wasn't Jamaican. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, if he wasn't Jamaican. It's not that I don't feel it. It's like yo. I 
I see it. You're beautiful. I'm attracted. I was like, the liquor men are just on a different level for no. me, and it's too, it's, it's it's too much for me. And most of the time, I won't understand them. Not to be rude. Yeah, she don't understand, understand Jamaican. At all. She doesn't understand my dad, and my dad has a very mild Jamaican accent. Even baby powder. Even the people See, my with, dad's I don't understand none of them. His, but my dad's accent still mild. When they talk to me, I was like, wait, what? Yeah, like not in the red way or something like that, but they're talking, and then I was like, "What are they talking about?" But yeah, so she don't understand Jamaica, so you dating one would be hell. I actually did try to date Jamaica. Girl. Oh, no. I did, but it didn't last long because I didn't listen what you were saying. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I was like, sorry, I didn't listen what you're saying. It's like it's okay, it's fine. Yeah, my suffer, suffer, suffer like that, and so, then I was like, ah, yeah, this is not gonna this work. <laughs> So I was, sitting there, I was like, no, I'm not doing it again. I did in this black guy, and then he bring me to a place that is not even his house, and then he's trying to lie oh, to my face, yeah, yeah. saying that it's his house. And I was like, listen, I'm not stupid. I know what is going on. We are girls. When girls go to a guy place, we like looking around. We like we're noisy. We will check every single corner of that house to see anything, everything, like literally everything. So when you're telling me that you, this is your place, and I'm telling you it's not your place, don't lie to my face and say it's. To lie. It's not like I'm blaming him about the place. I'm just saying I know this is not your place. Mm -hmm. So why you keep insisting that it's your place? So he's he, he's trying to impress you by lying. That's a red flag in the beginning. It's a red flag. From from the start, if it's red flags, you have to. So I cut it. it. I cut so it. I was like, no, no, I'm not doing it. So yeah. Um, I'm not just like. <sighs> <sighs> Speaking to the camera. <sighs> It's frustrating when you're talking to a guy and then you're saying like, I know you're lying to me. I'm giving you an option. Like, this is your clear, chance to yeah. just clear it. Like, I'm not saying that is a bad thing. Just and tell me it's like it's not. And then it's not like I'm going to say, oh, bring me to your place. I don't want you to know your place. If you can't bring me to your place, I don't care. But don't lie to me. Like, I hate when people lie to me. To literally, to lie. when like, someone lies to me, I just cut it. Like. No, I could. No, no, that's, that's why I always do it. I like cut it. Cause thing, if you keep letting those lies carry on throughout oh. your relationship, it's just gonna be built on lies, 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 lies. And, and when like you that. do find someone that tells the truth, do you know what they do? Oh, I'm too busy. I can make it. I try. And blah 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 blah. Listen, you're not trying hard enough. That's an excuse. <laughs> you should try hard enough. You should oh try hard enough. Because you say no, I didn't tell you. You told a person, and then you told the. You don't tell the fool. Left. Yeah. And then when you tell me the other half later on, and I was like, wait, you didn't tell me that before. I was like, didn't I? I forgot. Like, 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 like mm, did you? Did you? Did you? Did you really? <sighs> Oh, sorry. Another thing about stereotypes when it comes to black women. Okay. A lot of countries, or a lot of men from different countries, think black women are far, meaning that we just sleep around. Like I've watched. Whoa. So yeah, that's another thing because that's I feel question like, mark there because some women they just like yeah, but it's not just a certain age. Let's say a certain age, not just black women, every mm. woman. They're literally like play around. Yeah, we, we, you're young. <laughs> you like around. see what's out there. But what it is, they feel like they can hit and leave. Like not mm. even in a bad sense. But I've watched a lot of videos of because I remember when I wanted to move to South Korea for like a while years ago. Yeah. So I used to watch like a lot of YouTubers of black women who live in South Korea, and a lot of them say that a lot of South Korean men, because of what they see in the media, they think that black women are fast. They'll never date a black girl or marry a black girl, but they will try and sleep with her. Oh wow! That happens in many many countries, unfortunately. Like they think that black women are fast, and it's like it's just because nowadays like a lot of black artists are reclaiming their sexuality and they are being proud about it yeah it doesn't mean that we just want to sleep around like if a woman wants to be promiscuous yes but don't assume that every black woman is promiscuous because of the way i look or the way my body is or the way that i dress or because my skin is dark this just this doesn't mean that i want to sleep around <laughs> Like it doesn't make sense. Does it? Does it make sense to you? It doesn't. Okay, so it's just like, yeah, this just happens with whoever. Like you can get white women that are promiscuous, Asian women that are promiscuous, promiscuous. Anyone can be promiscuous, but it's always like very put upon black women. And I feel like that's why a lot of thank you, thank you. I feel like that's why a lot of people don't take black women seriously while dating. But you know what? You're missing out. That's true. Yeah. 
and at the same time when they do that it kind of put the girl like on guard mm. like well if every single one of you guys think we are this and then we are going to try to like look somewhere else or try to find some <sighs> and then make us feel bad about it if they make it feel bad because if you are dressing like sexy with like a low cut with your little booty out they will say that you're what is it? What's the word? I'll be like, well, you're asking for it all. You must want yeah. it. It's like, no. No, I we just like to dress my booty out. What's wrong with sharing my booty out? <laughs> you can't even do that. Like, that's, that's a whole other subject that we can go to another day because I have a lot. Oh. I'll, I'll stay on that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. what was the next question? <laughs> because that one is off topic. All right, do you want to? No, you go on. Okay. What role does technology and online dating play in your approach to finding meaningful relationships? Take it away, man. Well, it doesn't play any role, <laughs> in my opinion. Not but finding meaningful relationships. Yeah, right? yeah, it doesn't. Like most of the time, you would say, okay, I met this guy online, and then you were dating, and there was that kind of stuff. After a while, I was like, he, yeah, he was wasn't our, who I was supposed to. Um, he wasn't who he meant. He was. He's yeah. not the person that was talking to him online he's not like doing what he was promising me he's not doing this he's not doing that listen he's online he, you can't see him he'll be like laughing like ah, exactly all lie 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 how yeah. would you know what happened showing his friends be like oh look what i did yeah like this girl she's looking fine she's dying over me like blah 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 look what she showed me like girl will guy will ask for certain pictures and girl who actually send them expecting like privacy in that and the next thing you know he's sharing with someone else and the other person is sharing with someone else like do you know how many times that happens when we were at school oh yeah yeah like okay like for example we left school 10 years ago this year so we graduated um year 11 10 years ago but bef that was when like obviously we had camera phones then on like iphones but they were all, the old thing but like instagram was just new and stuff didn't it but anyway sending nudes was a thing it was and a guy and we're not saying all guys do this but it happened way too often in school a guy would convince a girl that they love her and the way to show her love is to send nudes the girl will send nudes next day or whenever it'll be all around the school yeah it blew up it's, i remember we had this friend yeah. where she was dating this guy and then for some reason <laughs> The guy decided to share his uh, the picture of. Okay, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. The guy decided to share the picture of the girl to his friend, and then literally everyone announced because the friend went to talk to other friend, and other friend, friend was like to friend, girlfriend. Yeah. And by the next day we went to school, everyone was talking about it. Like, oh, did you see the picture? Did you see this? She did this. Oh my god, I can't believe she did this. And then we were like, what's going on? So we went to ask the girl, and then she was explaining. She was crying, all that kind of oh, stuff. I was like, like, oh my gosh. And the funny thing about it, she done it twice yeah we were like twice. girl i'm like, not victim blaming because obviously it didn't deserve but the first time the first time we understand wary, but yeah. you're going again twice it's like you can't like, really be trusting people out here like that uh, it's sad and it's the thing it's not even the same person oh it was different it okay. was different guys she dated in this guy she sent a picture he shared with everyone yeah I remember and then the she one. dated a second guy she did the same thing and he shared everyone and then we went on a trip and then he made a joke out of it like he did this he did that and <gasps> was like, that when we were at pgl yeah oh, when we went to the room <gasps> okay and then we were like Sorry. oh my gosh this yeah that was bad we were like bad like i, I can't think, believe that happened i think i kind of stopped talking to him after that innit yeah yeah it was it sure yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It was. It was. I it was bad. bad. It was bad, guys. It was, it was so bad. bad. So I feel like yeah, with the internet, it's like trying to find a meaningful relationship. You just can't trust people. You can't because trust. People don't know how to keep shit private. No. So but yeah. Especially guy. I'm not going to lie. Girl will share other girls, but we tend to keep it in a group. A group of girl. But with guys. It's they not in a group. Yeah. They will literally spur it like they're bragging about it. I don't know why. Yeah, like, like just why are you bragging keep some about stuff it? To yourself. The bragging rights is not worth all of that. And mess. especially you're dating that girl. And yeah. then when she found out, you say, oh, I didn't mean to, blah, 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 blah. The excuse we came with for it's like, it's dumb. <sighs> well, did you not hear about the girl who was dating that guy, um, Stephen Bell, whatever the hell his name is, and he yeah. filmed her in his house when they were sleeping together but she didn't know no. like he filmed it and kept it as um revenge porn then when she broke up with him he threatened to release it which yeah. he did and then she took him to court and he's in jail for a year now but yeah it was it was really bad and now they've made it illegal i was like it should be illegal yeah but, the but thing he tried is, people to people find a way to go around that yeah but he's in jail 
yeah, but I think it's coming out because he he did not give a damn. If you saw him in thingy in like in the courts, how he used to come with fur coats, his fans will be waiting outside. Oh, it's wow. like it's that stuff is not seen as criminal enough. Like it's not seen as because that could have ruined her career, and he yeah. would have just went on scot free for something that he did, which is technically rap. <sighs> Next question. Next question. Have you ever felt conflicted between traditional dating norms and your own values and beliefs? Yes. Oh, I love traditional dating. <laughs> no, I think because okay, of the... okay. I think old style dating to be more precise. Because you say old style dating, how is that to pray that it's like you find a guy, you get married, he's stuck with you. <laughs> Imagine if you find out you don't like your husband. Yeah, you get rid of it. Yeah, but. Okay, let's get deep into it. <laughs> old school dating, women were not allowed to divorce men. Oh, yeah. Okay, See, then. yeah, when you think of old school dating, you yeah, gotta think nah. about all of it. Women were not allowed to have their own bank accounts till like the, uh, the 70s. Oh, yeah. Yeah, women, it was very rare that women divorced men. It had to be bad because a lot of relationships when the woman's getting domestically abused, they just stuck out of it. Oh. Like, if you talk to some of your grandparents' relationships, it's like, Daniel. Like, they, they really just didn't have a choice, which is sad. Oh wow! Yeah, but that I feel like bad. like traditional rela um, dating can be nice, but also you have to think of the the flippy floppy side. Oof. Like there's the good with the bad, and sometimes the bad outweighs the good. Yeah, yeah. But then there's some old beautiful relationships where they stay together till they both die, and you're thinking, oh my gosh, that's true love. Yeah, yeah. Just so some people are lucky. Sometimes there's con and con in every single. Yeah, yeah so. in every type of dating. Yeah, you never know what will happen. Yeah. That's why you have to be very careful at the same time. You have to know what you really want. Like, you can't go in a relationship and expect everything will be fine. Like, no. Yeah. You need to respect yourself more than actually just go and then... <sighs> Going with whoever's available. No, you can't do that. Like, don't. Don't. I don't recommend it. All right, next question. Oh, wait, yeah. I was going to say. Oh, you go. Sorry. Ahead. I feel like, sorry. You're sorry. You know, like sometimes what our parents expect from us with, like, when we, oh, when we date. So when they're dating, it is when they're giving grandkids, when they're yeah. blah, blah, blah. Oh. But it's like the dating scene now compared to our parents is completely different. Oh. Because, like, even different. like when my mom tells me when it was back when she was dating, when she was younger, like yeah. the 80s and early, early 90s. Yeah. Like, it was completely different. I thought the guys were a bit more chivalrous, so they would yeah. take you home and your friend home and then meet your parents and do the they will actually make an effort yes <laughs> they will pick you up from work they will make an effort yes my dad used to go all the way to set to like um holborn to bring my mum lunch and then bring her home or if if she'd missed the bus he would go meet her and walk her home oh but obviously they didn't have phones so it was like now they don't make boxes. effort and they then don't sometimes care. your your partners don't meet your parents for like good 10, 5 years. Yeah, they don't care. They're not even trying. And then the thing is, they try to make you not like your parent or your family. They say that yeah. they're against me, you need to choose. Why do like, they have to no. choose? They give birth to us. Like, like, no. I think before, when men were dating, or when people were dating, they became a part of... Obviously, not all families are going to like your partner. But True. it was like, if your family didn't like them, that was a big... if. Like a, that was a big nah, yes, no. Yeah, nah, it nah. was a hit or miss. If it, so it was like, like oh, yeah. if my parents don't like you, I see that this day it is like it's done. Yeah, but nowadays, like your parents don't like you. Ah, okay. Yeah, but I think also in another way, it's kind of good because. I don't know if you've watched the show, but there's a show where these moms are very overprotective of their sons. Oh. So they don't like whoever their sons date. Ooh, I remember I saw this on, I don't know if it was a movie or something like that. I mm. saw that the mom was actually jealous of her daughter. Like, oh, that's that's very common. How are you jealous of your own daughter? It's very like, common. how? It's weird. Very, very weird. Cause especially, for example, with like the traditional dating norms and now. Yeah. Like, for example, I don't, I don't date because I don't feel the name the need to date yeah but then my family because obviously everyone they feel like oh we have to get married and have children to have a fulfillment in your life so yeah. i'm always getting asked oh when are you gonna date do you when have anyone in there when are you gonna have kids how many kids are you gonna have you need to think that not all women can have children firstly true and people don't think about that which is sometimes very insensitive not everyone wants to date because have you seen what's out here yeah it's not looking it's like we have a bit of a of a of a, of a drought yeah yeah it's like i felt like you need to go around with your checklist go around what go around with your checklist because <laughs> yeah but like, uh, okay uh, uh. <laughs> just check 
what happened to this gentleman like yeah, no, 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 no it's not chivalrous enough he's not doing this yeah, like, i'm sorry you, you, you fail you next. fail next 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 like oh wow it's so bad but next, next question one. what strategies do you use to maintain your self-confidence and self-worth while dating I would say love yourself like respect yourself love yourself and know what you're worth like yes. don't downplay yourself don't just say oh he don't like this so I need to change, change this it. no no he met you like that so he need to like what he saw and what he like if he don't like it that means not meant to be it's that simple don't say that he wants you to change this and this. but I do say there's certain thing you need to change depending like on how you yeah. yeah compromise like the center thing you can compromise on like for example if you drink you used to drink a lot and then he doesn't like that you can say okay that's i can drink less than what i normally used to drink mm. if you cannot and you know that you cannot don't lie to the person and say that yes. uh, i can and then you're not doing it that's actually food conflict in a relationship where they're arguing and there is like you're always out you're always partying you're not doing this you're not doing that no if you cannot just say true to the girl and say you cannot if you know that you can change that about you just do it when i say don't change yourself i mean like in the way that you're you dressing yeah, like the way you, you are. act don't downplay don't be like a timid person that's what i mean like you can't just go out and then all your confidence and be down because you're dressing nice and then the guy was like why are you were dressing like that i don't like that you need to change and there's like why and then he said that you're supposed to dress like this for me why are you just like that for other guy like he met you like that so why are you going to change the way you dress mm. because the guy says so no you exactly. can't do that like kiki palmer our cousin everybody's cousin <laughs> when her husband when her boyfriend and her baby daddy had a problem with how she was dressed at the usher concert they, they, they she, she was like boy bye as she should because why should she change herself and he was like you're a mother okay but you're a father and he said something about he has um he values traditional dating rules but everyone's like but you don't have a job <laughs> so she is the breadwinner of the family she is also the one that pra takes primary care of the of the child yeah and she dresses how she used to dress so you want a traditional family but you you're not paying the bills yeah you so can't it's like you can't expect someone else to change just yeah you can't guilt trip your no. girlfriend into that even your boyfriend as well yes no because one should some women do literally the downgrade the other guy yeah who say that you can't do this you can't do that no yeah it's two way you can't force the you way have that to compromise without trying to change the person completely. exactly yeah so for example imagine like you change yourself completely for the person you love yeah. and then they go out and dump you and date someone else yeah so because be like, I you're just changed my like, whole self you used to person. be looking nice fly walking around now you're dressing in a baggy guy hiding yourself and acting so timid like that's mm. not who you are so it's kind of why is it y'all <laughs> that's not who you I are know. <laughs> yeah. that's not who you are so i'll say that there's certain things when it comes to relationship you can compromise on but there's certain just things that you can yeah just don't change yourself for like in a sense of the way that you're comfortable with because mm. he met you like that like he knew when he met you oh she knew mm -hmm. yeah they knew what they were coming into yeah and so he's like, like oh. there's actually a film like that called gone girl Ooh. have you not watched it no basically this woman changed herself to be the cool girl like the one that can drink beer and watch football with her husband but stay in shape oh wow the, the, anyway um her husband ended up cheating on her so she faked her death and blamed it on the husband because of she literally changed her whole life she kept dying her hair so she would he wouldn't see grace she had to stay in shape for him she had to pretend to like football pretend to like beer she had to pretend to do all of this for her husband and then he goes and cheats her so she's like you'll pay so she faked her death and then made evidence so it led towards her husband you see don't do, as my mom Come says on, hell has no fury like a woman scorned don't mess with us and you will you won't find out oh that's bad yeah so it's like see you change yourself for your husband to cheat on you and they and actually end up cheating on you yeah that's so the thing don't change yourself don't change yourself all right now can you share a memorable dating experience that taught you something valuable about yourself or relationships when i was four no I'm joking. <laughs> so we will technically skip this one because yeah, I don't, don't have, have any of have that, any, but like, because I know myself, so I don't know what the other guy will give it to me that I will actually learn. I don't know. It hasn't happened yet, so we'll skip this question. Okay. Right, how do you communicate your boundaries and expectations when entering a new romantic relationship? First of all, I say to him, listen, I'm true honest, like my mouth can talk. So, <laughs> if yes. I don't like something, I'll literally tell you, like, I'm not hiding it, I'm not playing two-faced. And if I find something and then I ask you a question, tell me truthfully, because if you do not, I'll literally cut you off. Like, 
I tell him like that simple. I will literally cut you off if you're not chill with me when I ask you a question. You, you if you want to go out, you can go out. I don't care. But just let you just know, what you're know your boundary. Yeah. Like you have a girlfriend, you can't just play around. I'm not following you. I'm not checking your phone. All that kind of stuff. If I just happen to hear something, I will ask you. If you lie to me, we're done. That simple. I don't know how <laughs> the boundary is like that. Like I'm I'm let I'm the person that literally let people like my partner do what they want i'm not trying to control what you do mm. i'm not trying to stop him doing for what he wants to do just don't lie or cheat don't lie don't cheat on me and don't expect me to change myself that's simple i'm not going to change myself and that's when mary had a little laugh yeah you found me like this so you may as well accept it period <laughs> next question this one we basically did already yeah generation one okay so what advice would you give to other young women who are navigating complexities of dating we basically said that don't change oh, yourself said, yeah don't change yeah. yourself deep age be true to yourself and be honest and open about what you like what you don't like don't just say oh i like this and you do not like it yeah no, don't do that no. As, yeah especially with like other stuff like bedroom things don't if you're not comfortable with something say it yeah. Don't, and don't, don't force much yourself to preferable to literally say out right like when you met the person say listen i'm this type of girl are you interested in this type of girl like i like doing this i like doing that i don't want to change this i don't but want to obviously, change that what do you like to do what do you yeah. like to change what do you like to do and all that kind of stuff you need to be open share yeah. it because you can't just go straight to like oh you're pretty i like you i want to know you do you want to go out and blah 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 and then down the line in a relationship you find nothing you don't like about the other partner it's like yeah you didn't tell me this like you can't be shocked when you find out when you could ask at the beginning of the relationship like, like obviously as things go on you learn stuff about your yeah, partner you didn't that's know so different. that's different but like the main stuff that you want to know kind of just don't open be like yeah duh, 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 but just kind of work into a that's the thing nowadays people is like you can't really ask questions like that because they'll find you like I don't know. They say it's too much. You're not yeah, intrusive. Well, you're then I guess it's not for you. Yeah. So like no. But yeah, uh, yeah. So that's basically our answer. Yeah. yeah. Be true to yourself and know what you want and what you value. But also be open to new experiences. But if it makes you uncomfortable, do not do it. Do not do it. Because sometimes dating someone they can open you to a new way of life. So yeah. Like you may actually find them more interesting than what you thought. Yeah. Like they might get you into art or movies or like.